good morning Friday October 18th 2024 listening to a little bit of Chris Norman in the morning with uh, Susie Q stumbling in better turn it down otherwise they're gonna put a copyright on me there anyways what am I doing today well I am going to not the Dutch well at least not yet I am going to put on my winter tires Let's turn the camera around. I want to show you what the road conditions are like this morning. Well, there's no snow yet, but we have some rain. And usually before the snow, you're always going to have periods of rain. So I figure I am a little bit ahead of myself. But, you know, in higher elevations, like they say, there's always snow. Well, Habarovsk does not have high elevations. It's not like... Castle or British Columbia when you go up over the Bombay Summit or Samuel Crest and where there will be snow on the road instead of rain so there it is uh, it's a little bit of a rush hour but the time it is nine o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna get a fresh start even if I have to wait I'm sure I'm not gonna have to wait long now here's another thing because it's raining, this is just my theory, because it's raining today and the place that I'm going to is kind of more of an open air uh, garage. It has a roof but no, uh, no walls so it's not warm. I think people are probably going to say, no, it's raining, I don't want to go today. Plus the weather forecast is today is the only rain for the next couple days. So... I figured why not go today because other people won't be coming but who knows we'll we'll have to see once we get there how many people are there Okay, we are here. Now let's hope that there aren't too many people in line so we can start changing our tires quickly. Okay, so I just went inside. Went inside there and I told them that I wanted, or I requested, that I wanted my tires changed and um, asked them how long it would be. And they said, well, no, what should I do? Well, so this is the lineup right here. So I'm right behind this Mitsubishi. And I don't know how long it's going to be. So I'm in the lineup. So let's see, what time is it right now? It is 9.19 in the morning. Okay, let's see how long I'm going to have to wait before they start working on our car. All right. Let's sit and wait and listen to the radio, I guess. Well, there's the weather forecast for rain today and I'm still sitting here, let's see, probably about 30 minutes or so. And I'm still in the Ocheret, the line. And what am I doing right now? Uh, just playing around on my phone, playing some games and reading the news. And Check this out. It is raining. Well, at least it's not cold. That's the thing. So I can sit here with uh, the engine off. Temperature is, I don't know, plus five, something like that. It's not that cold. So I'll sit and wait. I have all day. I don't know. Here I thought that uh, I was going to be one of the smart ones that came early. But I think this city is full of smart people. 
who were probably thinking like me, I'll go on a rainy day because other people won't want to go on a rainy day. Well, <laughs> I guess we're all in line now. Doesn't matter. All right, keep waiting. Okay, it's 10.30 a.m. and I've been here since 9.19. I've moved up a little bit, but there's still, let's see, one, two vehicles on this side and people waiting on this side. And it looks like somebody just came in on this Grand Cherokee. And I hope they're not going to but in front of everybody else anyways an hour and 10 minutes and i'm still waiting oh well at least it's not freezing cold so that's good okay i finally got my car and they have my tires to come out and they're going to be starting to take the summers off and they're going to be putting the winters on well, that's that. So I've been waiting for, oh gosh, I don't know how long. Uh, let's see here, it's 10.52 right now. So from 9.19, 10.52, so what is that? Uh, an hour and a half, just to wait in line. So yeah, it's very, very busy here. So they got everybody changing their tires today. Okay, so these guys are really, really efficient. Uh, there are two guys. One guy is working on my uh, right there. Right there. So he's taking the tires off. Another guy right over here, Genius. Uh, he's the guy that I work with, or he's the one that I know that I always come here. That I specifically ask for him. He's actually doing the balancing. There are four vehicles working at one time. There's like six guys. So everything is just moving along pretty quick. So hopefully I'll be out of here in, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now they're just balancing them. And soon, I'll have everything all done. There it is. So they got the air already put in over there. Balance them off. Put the counterweights, balancing weights, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so here are my summer tires, my Pirellis. And I'm just waiting for them to mount the winter tires and then I will put these tires into the bags and into the back of the car and then I'm out of here. In case you're wondering, uh, what's the name of this place? It's, the sign is right there. It's called Chine Montage. But the thing is, is that I don't know, I seem to notice that all the tire places are called Shin Montage, so I don't actually know the name, but there's the phone number, and if you are here in Habarovsk, it is right beside that nightclub right there called Garage. Uh, probably a hundred videos ago, I did a video at that nightclub with my friend Sergei. Anyways, uh, so there it is, there's the phone number. 613738. So, yeah, Denis, he's the guy that uh, does a great job, him and his crew. So, yeah, this is just a bit of a shout out to uh, Denis and his crew at the Chine Montage beside the garage. There it is, the garage nightclub.
Okay, so the back tires are mounted. And we're just waiting now for them to mount the front tires. Okay, I'm all done. Here are my summer tires. And what did it cost? Uh, 1,800 rubles. So that's about, uh, what, about $25 Canadian? So that's not bad. So it's about $6 a tire. And that's to take the summers off, to put the winters on the rims, uh, to balance them, and to put them back on. So there it is. It's about 25 bucks, so it's very, very reasonable. All right, what am I gonna do now? Well, I need to make a run to the Dacia. I need to take these tires to the Dacia and put them away. So let's go on a road trip. 